Okay guys, this is the 31 inch Superman from Man of Steel and we are going to be customising him and giving him the original Superman suit. It's going to be Henry Cavill in the Christopher Reeves suit. It's going to be uh, all custom made by myself, all stitched together material suit. Uh, this is uh, quite a big figure and it's going to be probably one of my hardest when it comes to custom clothing to do this I'm going to leave the boots I'm probably going to give them a paint because they are quite dark uh, they don't look quite light on the camera but they are quite dark so I'm going to give them a lick of paint the, the material will just come up to the boots I'm going to leave the boots as they are so it's going to be the red and blue suit from Superman the original movies and then I'm probably going to attempt to do his hair similar to the hair I've done for the black Superman suit there uh, so I'll be cutting all this away and giving him um, the, the Superman quiff with uh, hair, uh, not real hair but fake hair get rid of these eyebrows and uh, I probably won't put Material, uh, fake hair eyebrows but I'll just uh, just uh, re-colour them in not as thick so guys let's get to it so the first step was to get the templates for the um, the Superman suit and the way I did this was using masking tape I masking tape over the body of the figure and then peeled it away and that way I could get the front uh, template, the back template and the leg templates. So the main advantage of using uh, masking tape for templates is once you peel the masking tape off the figure itself and place it onto the material you'll be using it sticks to the material so the template isn't going to move and then you could freely draw around the template and then cut it out. Okay cool. so as you can see I've stitched one side of the top half of the Superman suit that's going to be going over this very large figure and what I've decided to do is um, the last time I did something like this was the Batman figure you can see there and that is the last time I did a full suit for a figure and I've greatly upscaled with this large one here um, I'm going to do this one a little differently what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this onto the figure and sew the seam on the other side. I've already sewn one side, as you can see there. And I'm going to place this on the figure and sew it on the figure. So that way I can pull it as tight as it needs to be to get it tight to the shape of the figure and then once it's all sewn on I will unscrew the two legs take the two legs off slip it off the body turn it the right way around and then put it back onto the figure and sew the shoulders again the same with the Batman figure you can see in the background there it doesn't necessarily mean uh, matter well it doesn't matter about the stitching on the shoulders because the cape will cover it that's why you have to make sure that you stitch these on uh, inside out. So yeah, I'm going to stick this on, sew it up that end on the figure, take the legs off, and then slide it off, fold it the right way around, put it back on, and put the figure the legs back on, and then sew up the shoulders. We should be ready to go for the lower half. Right, I've got the top half on the figure itself now all taped into place so it stays in place as you can see there that's all stitched up to the armpit and now I'm going to stitch the right hand side whilst it's on the figure as you can see there the shoulders aren't stitched so once I've stitched that and it's all nice and tight I can then take the legs off and slip it off the bottom turn it the right way and put it on so let's get stitching 
So both sides are now stitched on and we're going to move on and stitch the shoulders and as I mentioned it doesn't matter about the thread or the stitching showing because the cape will cover it. Right, that's the chest plate, sorry, the chest, the vest now done, chest or vest, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's now finished, but what I found myself doing is because I hadn't got the template 100% correct, it was coming away from the shoulders. So instead of making this uh, suit where it's all stitched up along the, around the shoulders and everything, and I'm kind of... Um, in hindsight, I wish I could have done this, uh, found out this technique beforehand, because uh, I wouldn't have had the stitching on the sides either. But um, what I've actually done, and it was an experiment, and it does work, even though I peeled it off, is I'm using the UHU glue and basically just wrapping the material around his arm, and then I've the seam at the back there where you can't see. And instead of stitching it, it'll just meet and glue together on the back there. Now, the only downfall, well not downfall, the only thing with doing this is this way is you've got to make sure the glue is spread evenly and thinly. And if I zoom, if I show you there, if I can get into light, you can see where the glue got too thick. If I just zoom in, you see there where it's got too thick. If the UH glue gets too thick, it soaks through onto the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape off all this old glue that's down in half and then squirt the glue all up and down his arm and I've used this, peeled this off and used this as a rough template and drawn out a new one and I'm going to get a paintbrush or a paste brush and just paste it on all nice and thin all over and then hopefully the blue material will just wrap around his arm and I can use a start I can use a Stanley knife to poke in the edges on the shoulders and it should it should also uh, mold perfectly around the, the arm muscles as well and if that, it does work I'll use the same technique on the legs again I'm, I'm just upset that I didn't find out this technique uh, sooner because I could have just coated the whole of his chest with the UHU glue and just completely just wrapped him in essence if I wanted to with the second one uh, if I'm thinking of doing something different with that one but I could, in essence I could do a full body wrap suit full one piece suit paste the whole figure in glue and then just completely wrap it and you just have one seam down the back one seam, two seams down each arm and so forth on the legs and just completely just wrap it and even though I've pulled this material as tight as I could, could get I've actually used the UH glue on the bottom there around his belt buckle and as you can see it's moulded really well so <laughs> uh, these are things you learn as you go on doing custom figures uh, yeah but if I do decide to put a material suit on that one um, I will be using the UHU glue and it more or less eliminates me doing any stitching now for future custom figures because I can just glue the material straight onto the figure using this UHU glue and then all I've got to do is cut out, cut out the material to the right template wrap it, just paste the glue on, wrap it round press it in on all the details and this glue dries pretty much instantly as well so that's what we're up to anyway uh, carry on as we mean to go, mean to on I'm going to peel all the glue off this this should, yeah just wrap, just peels off as you can see there just peels off so I'm going to peel all this glue off repaste it in the UHU glue using a brush and then I'll wrap the new template around the arm and see where we go from there
So gluing the material to the arm was a complete success and now I'm going to move on and attempt it with the uh, uh, legs and the main difference with this is uh, instead of just having the material going right to the end of the uh, wrist with the material and just gluing it around the wrist with this one I am going to be gluing it around the leg and then using a Stanley knife I will tuck the material into the boot uh, there is a slight give with the boot and it should be enough for the material to just tuck inside the boot so again this was a complete success it wrapped around perfectly and moulded perfectly to uh, the contours of the leg uh, I'm not, I don't want to show too much so now we're going to move on to the uh, chest template so again using masking tape I taped up around the chest emblem and then cut it out and I'm now tracing around it onto some yellow material which will be the backing with the red material for, well, of the S overlapping over it. So once I'd uh, placed the template onto the yellow material and drawn around it and cut it out I then replaced the masking tape template back onto the figure and using a Stanley knife I cut out the S um, around the indent of the chest emblem that way I, now I, can, I can now peel it off and place it onto the red material So at the beginning of this video I said that it will be the Henry Cavill figure in the Christopher Reeves suit which essentially it still is but when it came to the chest emblem instead of just putting the um, Christopher Reeves uh, S, S from the, his suit I decided to go a different route and just the chest emblem that was on the uh, Henry Cavill suit put it in back bringing it back to the Christopher Reeves era with the uh, yellow and red colours but it's using the um, Man of Steel uh, style of the chest emblem and I think it's come out looking really good it still looks like the uh, it, so it's got a bit of a mixture of the um, Christopher Reeves suit and the Man of Steel suit mixed into one the second to last step of this custom figure I've got this cape to do and then the belt so I bought up this very beautiful red um, fa fabric that uh, you can see here and I've used the same fabric on his trunks and so it's going to match perfectly. I've actually used uh, a different material for the uh, Superman emblem there, you can see that's got a slightly different pattern. This is actually the original cape that came with this figure and the reason I've used the uh, cape material is if the camera pick that up it's got a nice uh, like pattern texture to it and I think it just stand, um, helps it stand up alone, alone and apart from the trunks and the cape and make the uh, Superman emblem stand out even more so moving on to the cape I've traced around half of his neck as you can see there I've measured the length of the figure 
and I'm using masking tape to um, denote the length of the figure and then I've also used masking tape to go out so I've only done half because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the lines draw the half or quarter uh, of the half moon for the bottom and then once I've cut, um, I'll cut that out cut that line there, cut the half circle to here, stop here and then I'll fold it over and trace around it and cut it again so let's get all that drawn cut out and put onto the figure okay guys so here you can see that uh, the cape is on the figure I've just used some masking tape to tape it into place now this was the actually the first attempt because again going with the theme of mixing Christopher Reeve suit with Gamma uh, Cavill suit um, <clears throat> I did try and put the folds from the Man of Steel suit into the cape um, it was quite difficult to do and you, I had to use a lot of glue to try and uh, keep the folds in place uh, so unfortunately the glue seeped through and it looked horrendous so I had to literally rip it off and start from scratch using the same technique that I've just shown you uh, so I eventually went with the option of going with the classic um, Christopher Reeve suit cape where it literally looks like it's just folded into his the, the collar of the blue suit uh, so I just folded it in using a little tiny bit of glue glued it in place and then dra it draped perfectly over, the, over his shoulders and uh, so yeah guys this was um, one of my hardest um, customs one of the funnest uh, and I had such a nostalgic moment doing it because uh, Christopher Reeve's Superman uh, all the movies even the not so good one with Nuclear Man uh, was what pretty much got is what got me into um, comic book movies and stuff like that especially Superman and Batman are my favorite so guys uh, this figure's now done and it's time for the final reveal thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.